just want to say something right now. The Paley Center special happened last night, and I am about to be bringing in my opinion on it. Now, if you do not want to see me angry, stop watching this video right now. Because, for all of you guys in the animation fandom, you need to know exactly how bad the Paley Center had it. Because, this is a doozy. So, so you may be asking, why the heck am I talking about this? This is something on the Fox Network, of all places. Where would you expect to put it? But no, it's my concern. So, without further ado, I give you Fox's idea, the 40 best animated characters in the world in it that aren't anime, that are funny, that are in their order. Oh, this will be fun! I might even have to do a follow-up video on this, if it goes too long. So the first thing we I have to get out of the way right here, the only character whose clips made me laugh in this entire thing was Cartman. I am not a South Park fan, but I found his clips that they used absolutely hilarious. The rest of them, they picked like the least funny moments from every, every character, and I mean it. So... For number 40, we have Bobby Hill from King of the Hill, which is a show I don't watch, so I can't give an opinion on, although I do know it lasts long. The next one is Rick and Morty, and, okay, I kind of can make a point there that, but if you're going with this, use other modern characters that aren't from Fox. Seriously, this is, the, like, one of the only 2010 shows on this entire thing, and it's for adults. The kids shows that you're going to be seeing later on on this are beyond terribly represented. Oh, just had a bit of a... Oh. The next thing is Dee Dee from Dexter's Lab. Here's something I will give a controversial opinion on. I actually have seen Dexter's Lab. And I don't think it's that good. Sorry. I never really cared for it that much. Alongside some of the other cartoon cartoons. And I'll have to do an, an entire separate video addressing stuff like that in the classic Nicktoons. Stuff like that. Because I do watch some of the classics. Too, from the 90s. I'm very, very... How do I put this about myself? I know the modern era, and I know the... The early 2010, no, two, the 2000s through 2010s, and some of the 90s. That's my range of cartoons I watch, and some of the classics. Next up, up Ren and Stimpy. Okay, I can agree with this guy is getting there. I'm, I've never been a fan of the show because not a gross out person, but they kind of fit. The next one we are provided is Chef from South Park. Can't give an opinion there. Cleveland Brown from Family Guy. Now this is interesting because it's the first of many, many Family Guy characters we're going to be seeing forced onto this list because it's Fox. Now Cleveland is the straight man of Family Guy, I feel, out of the main group from what I have seen of Family Guy. More... Not as crazy as Peter or Quagmire. Him and Joe are more, like, tamed. But anyway, next up, we have Linda Belcher from Box Bob's Burgers, which is a skip, because I don't watch Bob's Burgers, despite, from what I have seen of it, um, youngest daughter is hilarious, because Kristen Shaw. Am I pronouncing that white right? I think... Like Edna Menzies. I'm mean, a South Park character. Here is probably one of the most infuriating members of this countdown. Angelica Pickles. Angelica Pickles got with me. <clears throat> mm. 32nd. 
And I'm like, no. Okay. I never watched Rugrats either. I don't. It's in this in a similar camp to Dexter's Lab to me. I'm not a big fan. Okay. It's not my kind of a show. And I know that she's probably the worst part of this all. And that says something. Next up, Lola Bunny from the Lo Looney Tunes show. As funny as she is on that show, because I will admit, I do like that show. Um, as funny as she is on it, no. You, no, you put virtually zero Looney Tunes characters on there, and she's one of the ones you put. Alright, getting ready. So, Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Really? There's a lot funnier side characters. And let's just throw out one that you completely forgot. Ralph Wiggum. A character who got a whole song based on him. He was so funny. And this special leaves him out entirely from it. A character that so many people consider their favorite Simpsons character. That'd be my dad. But, no. You put Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns isn't even that funny. 29th, Yogi Bear. I can agree with this one. Okay, it's a classic character. I'm not a Yogi Bear fan either, but... Sam Smith from American Dad. Haven't seen American Dad next. Um, George Jetson. I saw the Jetsons when I was little. It wasn't that funny, to be honest, now, looking back on it. Next up, Phineas and Ferb. The show w was funny, but Doofenshmirtz would have been a bit of a better choice, and, yeah. Next up, Hank Hill from King of the Hill. Haven't seen that show next. Daria. Haven't seen that show next. Roger from American Dad. Haven't seen that show next. Tina Belcher. Haven't seen that show next. Sterling Archer, haven't seen that show next. Man, but no. As you can see, that was pretty much all adult characters right out of that blue. 20th, Beavis and Butthead, haven't seen that show next. 19th, Marge Simpson. Here's a thing. As you've seen my channel so many times, I say that Marge, er, Marge, I like The Simpsons, okay? I will admit something, though. I don't think Marge, or Lisa for that matter, are funny characters. Both are on this list, and both, I think, don't deserve to be here exactly. Lisa is much more of a commentary person, and she is my favorite, but I like her for the commentaries. She gives on that kind of stuff. I like her more on the emotional side, and the more characters play off of her than she plays off of other characters. That's the rule of comedy. Now, Bender. I can agree with him here, only a little higher, please. Lois Griffin. Same thing with Marge. Lois is a lot like Marge, yet an evil version of her, pretty much, I think, of her as. And she carries over the fact that she's not funny. Yeah. To me, at least. Remember, all of this is my opinion. So, do we move on from here? Lisa, I already talked about her. Daffy Duck, and they're using the Looney Tunes show. Show the classic clips. Yes, you have classic clips. You know that? That were on the film and made all of these characters such successes. Why are you using one of their most modern incarnations? Please tell me. Donald. Okay, make him higher. He's another one of the classics that you put down at 14. Charlie Brown, 13th. 
He's not a funny character. I'm going to just say that right now. That the Peanuts is a much more Snoopy funny show. Charlie Brown shouldn't have been here. Next, Fred Flintstone. Haven't seen really seen the Flintstones, okay? Um, Eric Cartman should have been higher, I think. If that clip I saw of it is any indication, okay, whatsoever, then you should have made him higher. I mean, it was the only clip you picked that made him anywhere near funny. SpongeBob was at 10th. I can agree with that. Peter at 9th. I can sort of agree with this. We're getting to the more nitty gritty now. Snoopy at eighth. Snoopy should have been higher. Snoopy is the funniest part of the Peanuts and what it's most remembered for. Him and Charlie Brown. And th let me just say right here, this special is calling themselves the 40th, 40 funniest 40 Funniest Characters in Television Animation. Just reminding you. Brian Griffin. Ever heard of, let's see, Herpes the Love Sore? Just saying. You have to think. Bart at 6th. Something... I can sort of agree with. Okay. Mickey Mouse at fifth. I did. I love Disney and Warner Bros. back then. You put Mickey. Mickey Mouse at fifth place in the top 40th. 40th. Top 40 TV. I'm sorry, I'm so tongue tied today. Characters. And you expect us to respect that. You're saying that we voted on that. No, the Fox people did. The Fox fans did. Not the animation fans. Sorry, this has failed in so many ways. At fourth, Scooby-Doo. Not that funny. I'm going to be straight up and say that. I... Not do not find Scooby Doo that funny. Yeah, Scooby Doo is sort of funny, okay, but not fourth out of forty funny. Third place, Bugs Bunny. This is how you put him. You put him at either first or fifth, third through first. And you actually nailed this character's place. And show clips from him from the Looney Tunes show that were actually funny. You succeeded for once. For once. Now, these top two are going to be my biggest factors. Alright, so the second best cartoon character you'd all think is not Homer Simpson. But guess what? They went Homer Simpson on this. So. Now, special, tell me who you want to unveil as your number one. I don't know, Mickey Mouse? Oh, wait, you ruled him out. Bugs Bunny ruled out. Sorry. Homer now ruled out. Who is your number one? Let's find out. Stewie Griffin. Stewie Griffin. He's funny. I will say that, but first place in the entire world, no, first place, period, you are claiming that you are like the only legitimate li list, anyway, that is the Paley special of the top 40 funniest cartoon characters, and stop it. You failed so drastically in this special. I am so ticked off. I will expand my thoughts on this. And, for the record, you created one of the least interesting things ever. 